press the square button to set traps. The L1 and R1 button are used to switch between traps. Press the triangle button to go into caution mode. You can find traps the enemy has set. Press the circle button to perform a projectile attack or direct attack. Press the X button to set off the switch detonator. Nothing will happen if you don't have a switch detonator. All of these buttons are displayed on the icon control screen. When you set traps, your inventory will be reduced. When your inventory reaches zero, you will not be able to set any more traps. However, if a trap is set off by the enemy, that trap will be returned to your inventory. Once a trap is set, you cannot set another trap on top of it. Also, you cannot set your trap on top of an enemy's trap. You can activate the switch detonator by pressing the X button. The mine will explode when an enemy steps onto it. The bomb will only explode when set off with a switch detonator or a mine. When you fall into the pitfall, press the directional button several times to get out faster. The force panel will propel the enemy to a preset direction. The enemy will be thrown in the direction you were facing when you set the trap. The gas will automatically emit poison after a certain time period. Remember the gas is also poisonous to you, so when you see the gas start to spread, get away from the area. When you touch the enemy's trap in caution mode, you will be able to disarm the trap. By entering the correct disarming code within the time limit, you can disarm the trap. When you disarm the trap, the trap will disappear. Your life gauge will also increase. The trap will activate if the disarming code was not input correctly. If you touch your own trap in caution mode, you can retrieve it. When your enemy is at a distance, you will attack him with your gun. When the ammo counter reaches zero, the character will have to reload their weapon. When the enemy is within proximity, you can attack him by either punching or kicking. If you are attacked during the disarming of a trap, the trap will automatically activate or detonate. Items will appear from the Power Object Delivery System or pods. When you see an item on the radar, go get it. This is the trap item. Your trap inventory will increase by one. This is the healer item. You will recover some health. This is the speed up item. This is a special weapon called the unit. 
The details will be explained during the next lesson. This is the Protect item. You will be invincible for 8 seconds with the exception of a unit attack. Obtaining the unit replaces the use of your gun. Each unit comes with three shots. The unit must first be charged. An attack will cancel the charge. The plasma bomb will home in on the enemy. The plasma bombs can be dealt with in three ways. Run until the plasma bomb disappears. You may also hide underneath a bridge or catwalk. This will destroy the bridge in the process. The third way is to knock down the enemy, which will destroy the unit and the plasma bomb. Finally, if the plasma bomb is caught in another explosion, it will disappear. Field Trap is an obstacle or trap preset on a stage. You cannot put a trap on a conveyor belt. This is an obstacle box. When you break it, sometimes you can get an item. This explosive box will explode when you break it. There are other obstacles such as cannons. means you can attack the enemy by combining several traps. Here are some examples. This is a combination of a mine and bomb explosion. By placing the bomb next to a mine, you can inflict more damage to the enemy. This is the combination of a switch detonator and bomb explosion. To boost up the power of the explosion, you could surround the switch detonator with more bombs. A combo like this is possible when you have used all the traps.